So I would come here. I want them to see you. Now, I'm going to bring these dogs on here, and I'm going to shave one of them probably tomorrow because, y'all, I've had so much time on my hands today, I haven't known what to do with it. Come here, Soda, please. Come here. I want them to see you. Would you please come here? She's starting to look like a shaggy sheep dog. Now, come here. Oh, she's the biggest dog I got. She weighs about 25 pounds. She's fatty, fatty. Look into the camera, Soda. Ain't she cute? Let's see if I can get her to turn her head. Can you look right here? You're not looking. Oh, she's going to bark now. But anyway, look at how long her, her hair's getting in the front. Now, this one right here, her ears stay messed up with fungus. If y'all have any fungus tips, please let me know, because I'm not going to the doggone vet and spending hundreds of dollars every few days for her ears. Now, I've been putting a little bit of monostat in them the last couple of days and a little bit of triple antibiotic salve with a Q-tip. And I do have some prescription stuff, but I don't, I don't necessarily want to use it all the time for her. And I do clean her ears out. But this child right here stays with skin problems. OMG. So if y'all got any good tips or any good supplements I could give her, please let me know because she's my baby. Now, she loves me to death. And when she hugs me, y'all, let me show you what she does. Yeah, y'all might think this is gross, but I love it. Watch. How's my goo? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? And she, and she puts her arms around me, y'all, and she hugs me and she kisses me. I just love it. Now, when I do that, Happy gets jealous. Come here, Happy. I'll let him see you. This is my first one. She's so jealous. She don't even like for me to say the other one's names. She's Cocker. Say, I'm a cockapoo. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is the best dog I've got. As far as her being obedient, she listens. She's good. She's just, oh, my gosh, she's good, y'all. She don't like kids, though. She don't like little kids, and she'll snap at them. So she wouldn't be good around little kids. But I'm telling you, if you want to get a dog, and you want her to mind, and you want her to go potty, and you want her to be smart as a whip, this one will turn around, you know, like turn flips, and she'll, I mean, she'll just do anything I teach her. Um, get you a cockapoo. They're hard to find. But, oh, they're so smart. And yeah, you can go to the vet. I mean, not vet. You can go rescue one if you want to, but I ain't all into that. I rescued my cat. But look, I grew up on a farm, and I know this sounds terrible, but dogs are a dime a dozen. And if I'm going to have one for 15 years, I'm going to get the one I want. Okay? Um, I know that might make some of y'all mad. <laughs> this one right here, I told y'all she has a licking problem. So she has a, a gland that stays swollen under her neck. She's the easiest one to groom. See that big fatty part? She's the easiest one to groom because she's small. See how little she is? I was going to show y'all the Pekingese and her. The only thing that she got from the Pekingese, stand up, Marcy, let me see her tail. Oh, she's going to cow down. Can you curl up her tail for them? Can you curl it up? She can completely curl her tail up like a Pekingese. That's the only thing she's anything like a Pekingese with. Well, anyway, let's see if anybody else has said anything. The dog foods, let me tell you about dog foods in my, um, my cockapoo is so sensitive and she has reflux. That's the only thing that is wrong with her. She cannot eat hardly anything without throwing it up. I mean hardly anything. And for years I fed her um, a canned dog food that was crushed and it had to be a certain kind because if it had a lot of fat and stuff in it, she'd throw it up. And I fed her that for years. And then when I got three dogs, I thought, what am I going to do? I can't feed them all that food. So, and I've used the prescription foods and everything. And the best thing she does with, I'm going to tell you the truth. The best thing she does good with now is beneficial um, little bites. And they come in small pieces. So when they chew them up and swallow them, they don't swell up so big. If you'll take a piece of dog food, and put it in water and see how big it gets. Well, that's bad for her reflux. 
So that's the only thing she could eat. And with treats, I had to be real careful because she can't have anything with red dyes and stuff. And then if she throws it up, she throws up all the time. Now she throws up at least once or twice a day. And when I say she throws up, not her food, but her water because her reflux is so bad. Um, but anyway, we just, you know, we've gotten used to it and we just clean it up. But we don't feed her anything with red dye in it, okay? Clean their ears and then put diluted vinegar in them. Okay, I'll do that. I, I have some ear cleaner that I got at Tractor Supply. They even bought that expensive one. And I clean them. Um, and I used to cotton balls and I, you know, but if I need to put a little diluted vinegar in there, I surely will. Because it's driving me crazy. Her fungus drives me crazy, y'all. And it smells too. And bless her heart, she has the hardest time. Especially when it's rainy and muggy outside. Well, I guess I'll see y'all later when I'm cooking for CDC. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope you don't mind all these little casual chit chats. Love y'all so much. Thanks for watching.